Now, we've heard a lot here recently about cases of rabid wildlife in the big country. And big Country Wildlife Rehabilitation Center now here in the studio today to dispel those myths about rabies. And joining us with, uh, along with the ambassador, Jennifer and Kyle Kleinpeter, and Ruby today. So do not try this at home because <laughs> Licensed and experienced professionals with wildlife rehabilitation and Ruby, um, oh, she doesn't stink. How's that, guys? <laughs> right, perfect. <laughs> Jennifer, so tell me, so you have been, um, you've had your wildlife, uh, Big Country Wildlife Rehabilitation Center for a year now, a little over mm -hmm. a year. You're a 501c3. You're heavily licensed with the state of Texas. You work closely with Parks and Wildlife um, and other rehabilitation centers. So that's correct. This is not your everyday scenario, and no, you can't find a cute baby skunk and take it home. Correct. <laughs> So tell us about this. So you're holding the skunk, and that w w even today we hear about a skunk that was being found on the north side of Abilene, tested mm -hmm. positive for rabies. And we talked recently to a veterinarian who said, you know, often when you find rabies cases early in the season, it's indicative of the way the rest of the season may go. So tell mm -hmm. us about these things, and what should we should we really be wor worried if we see these wildlife out there? Because you know we're in West Texas; they're everywhere. <laughs> right. Well, I don't agree that we should be worried. There's so many ways that we can be <laughs> safe, keep our family safe. Uh, keep our pets safe um, from animals that they people fear that may have rabies. Um, you know, good news is the only way that you can contract rabies is you have to come into contact with these wild animals. So we always encourage people not to come into contact if you see these animals out. So that's kind of my big advice is, you know, people see these animals and they want to get closer and we, we just don't recommend that. So uh, if you follow the Facebook page for, for your group and if mm -hmm. you've seen this, you know, this is the spring season. So you're going to see more of these animals. And when we talk about rabies, um, animals that spread rabies, there are certain classification rabies vector species. Correct. Like skunk, uh -huh. for example. Yep. So we have skunks, we have fox, uh, we have bats and we have raccoons. Uh, most of these animals are nocturnal. Um, but they will be out during the day, during especially this time of the year. It's okay. spring and uh, all the animals are having their babies, so they're out during the day foraging for food to be able to provide for their young at this time. So just because we see them in the daytime doesn't mean that they're rabid. It means that they actually have a mission. They're out there on a purpose and maybe it's the, the only time they can get out to feed their young and, and to be able to nourish themselves and take care of their young as well. Yeah, with new, mm -hmm. uh, with new evidence out, uh, it's almost highly likely that they do not have rabies. Uh, they're just out trying to provide, trying to survive, and trying to provide for their babies. So, and of course, the best way to prevent the spread of rabies is to vaccinate your own animals Correct. as well. That's 100% uh, prevention, <laughs> vaccinate. Vaccinate your pets. So don't skip out on those. And, and again, don't come in contact with wildlife. And, and you may see them out now. You may see the cute babies out. And we hear all the time people come in contact, they find babies, and they think, oh, the moms run off, and I'll help them. Well, you're not actually helping these babies. And no. you're, you're actually making situations much worse for them. Right. Uh, we do agree with that. Um, if, uh, if any orphans are found that you think is an orphan, we're also a resource. We don't necessarily always have to take these animals. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they need rehabilitation, um, but they can call us and we can help uh, provide them some kind of guidance as far as if they do need rescue or anything like that. So, you know, and I see you cuddling this, this precious little thing. <laughs> this is not the, she's, she's the exception to the rule. You know, all of your animals that you take in, you rehab and you put them out in the wild and you take them far away from, from individuals and from city and you're, they're healthy, but they're also able to survive and stand on their own. Uh, correct. So our rabies vector species, per Texas Park and Wildlife Guidelines, we have to uh, release uh, rabies vector species within a 10 mile radius, but we we definitely do not uh, let them go in someone's backyard. <laughs> we definitely uh, find some uh, land uh, from owners and get approval from them to release. So. And if you do come into uh, contact with an animal that you think may have rabies, the only way to know for certain is to have it tested. Uh, unfortunately so, and the way they have to test is the animals unfortunately euthanize. So we definitely, that's why we really highly encourage people not to approach these animals that are high, at high risk because if you were to come into contact, the animal has to be put down regardless if they have the disease or not, just to confirm if they have it or not. All right, so this is a, something you can prevent your own animals from getting, so make sure that they're vaccinated. Mm -hmm. You guys stay away from them as well. Don't go touch the babies. Don't go t seek out the big ones when you find them. Mm -hmm. And um, we can kind of live amicably amongst ourselves. Yeah, I, I recommend definitely not feeding uh, uh, any uh, wildlife. I don't recommend having wildlife as pets. And uh, bring your food inside from feeding cats and dogs, and that way you won't have any unwanted guests come up on your back porch. They won't get fed either. <laughs> <laughs> right, so definitely don't want to do that either, and that uh, will keep you guys safe. So that's what uh, we recommend. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us today and bringing Ruby on. I, you just want to cuddle her, but the rest mm -hmm. of them, not so much. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you all would like to contact the Big Country Wildlife Rehabilitation Center, call them. The number there on your screen, 280-1328. For more information on the rabies and the prevention, you can also go to bigcountrywildliferescue.org. Certainly a necessary resource here in the Big Country.